Hey friends, I've been talking to you about adding a mirrored bed to your 3D printer and I figured I might ought to show you the tools that you can use to help do it successfully. Alright friends, so you can get this from Lowe's. It is mirrored glass. I get the whole box of six for ten bucks. You can cut on top of a cardboard or something so that you can see glass all over the place. You'll want a T-square so that you can make your measurements accurate. Uh, I know that mine needs to be about nine and a half. So I'm going to line it up with that edge. And then I'm going to make a mark all the way across with my Sharpie. You might want to pick something that doesn't leave a permanent mark. I'm flexible. So I just use the Sharpie. And in this direction, I need to be six and a half. With your piece of glass marked, don't forget to cap your Sharpie and track down your nifty glass cutter. My glass cutter is from Harbor Freight, it cost about two bucks. Uh, when you use a glass cutter, it's good to have protective eye equipment, it's good to have uh, something, a mat, so that you can keep the mess from getting everywhere. Afterwards, I'm on vacuum as well. And then we don't actually cut the glass, we score it. So when we pull across, we should get a zipping sound if we're doing this correctly. So I'm lining it up, making sure that my center line is going to match, and then I want a nice zipping sound. And that's what it sounds like when you score a piece of glass. Then you need to put it on top of something. Once you've got it scored, you simply snap it off over a little bit of a ridge. I like to use the teaspoon of the square. And notice it just snaps off nice and clean, just like that. I'm going to push that off to the other side. I'm going to grab the other half, line it up as well. Find the exact pressure where we get that cool zipping sound. It is so important to have the zip. That is the difference between success and not success when you're cutting your glass. Line it up and just press. And that, my friends, is how you cut your glass bed. This is an odd shape because it's for the printer bot simple, but hey, thank you guys for watching. Hope this is helpful as you make your glass beds on your printers. If you like that movie, please click that like button if you want. Also, hit the subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Montet, click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, friends.